Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Klitschko's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Peters is making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You know what to do. Let's touch gloves. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bench? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Took a shot, now he gives a left. There's another left hand from him. Nice block by Bad Intention. Good job with another left hand. Well done, three punch series of punches there by Peters. Good block by Klitschko. And a well placed counter by Peters. And in round number one, you already get the sense that they have no intentions of this fight going the distance. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. Teddy, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first of all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Blocks away that headshot. Good scoring counterpunch by Peters. Comes right back at him with a left hand. That's a good block by Peters. Another right hand comes in. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Pulls the trigger fast. 
Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far. That's a tried and true method that works out very well, the counterpunch landing by Peters. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Klitschko. <laughs> Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. <laughs> 60 seconds to go. In what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Excellent counterpunch by Peters. Peters' cheek is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Gets rid of that body shot. Ten clicks of the talk. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. That's all. You need to throw more. If you're not punching, he is. The conference, the conference. And round number three is underway. Each man able to land an uppercut. Klitschko's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They're the ones that wind up landing. one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron shin. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Defense! More defense! The 
Doubling up the jab by Klitschko. Good scoring counterpunch by Klitschko. He has taken a lot of punishment here. Well, the special fighters find a way, even when it's desperate like this, to survive. He's got to find that way right now. Double jab by Peters. Back upstairs he goes. This round comes to an end, a round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Nice two-punch combo by Peters. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by Peters. goes out at longer range. He's staying away from some danger spots defensively. Well, he knows he has an opponent who has to be set to punch and who's very dangerous in those spots. So he's doing what he should be doing. Keeping them off balance, giving them angles. Fight a smart fight. Counterpunch by Peters. Good defense, just covering up down low. On the mark, the counterpunch by Klitschko. Clean offense from defense by Peters. Keep working the jab. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Klitschko. The combo lands upstairs. Where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Klitschko. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. More in volume in there. Throw in volume. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. 
hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Peter. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting the sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. Lynch goes, staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. learning a lesson here that you don't want to learn and that is no head movement means you're going to take shots to the head well customato used to tell me if you don't move your head guess what the other guy will move it for you <laughs> right now the other guy is moving his head for him. painfully so this is why we love the sport teddy i mean this is just back and forth action non-stop well joe with special events have happened in history you remember where you are Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Peters. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Devastating blow by Peter. Again to the melon. A snapping combination by Peters. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Flush with the two-punch combo by Peter. Blocks that punch. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Well, if ever you wanted to explain to somebody the benefits of distance while fighting, this is a perfect example by what we're seeing out of him on the outside. Well, you know, so many times I see tall guys, and what the heck's the sense of being tall if you don't know how to fight tall? He knows how. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Klitschko what a good counter punch by Peters a stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Klitschko Klitschko's jab continues to carry the day 
He's wanted it. He's got it. Oh, Klitsch goes hit by that counter shot. Klitsch goes doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. What a fight. What a great, great non-stop action fight this has been. Targeted counter punch by Peters. He comes back with a right hand. Your head. Beat him to the and as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. <laughs> that time it was intended to the head very clever move there little defense turns to offense the counter punch by Peters Clinch shows movement helped out there he avoided that punch Blocked by the Cobra. <laughs> Peters is making for a very inviting target right now. That cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's got to be elusive right now. He's got to get on his horse a little bit and give those medicines that were put into the cut a chance to work a little bit. But also, he's got to slow his opponent down. Catch him with something so he doesn't keep going after that eye. Locks that belt line well. that time it was intended to the head <laughs> blocks that punch <laughs> good scoring counter punch by Peter Come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Glitch goes, doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. 
Klitschko's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Very precise double jab by Peters. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Klitschko. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shots. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Well-targeted counterpunch by Klitschko. <laughs> 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Good defensive skill with the block by Klitschko. Targeted by Klitschko. Gets rid of that body shot. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. with a left hand. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good block by bad intentions. Targeted counter punch by Klitschko. Not able to land the headshot. Klitschko's whiffing there. A big wide sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is. And you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that. And the next time, he's going to capitalize on it. Klitschko. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. 
you can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Good defensive skill. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited, he can pick him off a little bit. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Good block there by Peters. by Peter. Good job protecting himself. Good looking combo by Klitschko. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Blocks away that headshot. up really well that time and it protects his head and a well-placed counter by Peter end of the round here on our fight night always a good time to come here to this venue take great fans I mean wherever we go on our fight night tour we have great fans yeah passionate fans fans that know the fighters and care about the sport by the Cobra. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Nice 
Nice fly by the Cobra. Way through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Klitschko. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. Blocks the headshot. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And this is the final round. Twelve rounds going at you. And this is the final round. Round number twelve coming at you. Able to cover up that gut. Well targeted counter punch by Klitschko. And there's the left hand working well for him again. It's hard to believe that he can win this fight on the scorecards. That means it's do or die at this point. You gotta go for broke. Yeah, that means that you gotta come up with that Hail Mary pass. Now, when you come up with that Hail Mary pass, you don't just chuck the ball. You have to have a receiver down there. You have to make sure that he's running a certain route. Right now, he's gotta look for one spot. Something to land that shot. Both right hands landed. That's a good block by bad intentions. Getting him into the place he wants to. That's against the ropes. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Wow! Peters is in a bad place right now. He was tagged. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep his offense going and end his night. He was stunned, but now he's surviving. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been.
fires back a right hand of his own. Good block there by Peter. Well, that wraps it up. Now, let's send it up to our ring Ladies announcer for the decision. Tonight, the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, Benny Tinchers, Klitschko. Klitschko is your winner by a unanimous decision. Well, he started going to the body, and it paid off for him, and it paid off for us. A good, solid fight. It was indeed, and we're glad you were with us to witness it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We'll see you next time ringside.